We got our first shipment of Apple Watches today. We buy them just like you do. We ordered eight, but got six this morning, evenly split between the stainless steel Apple Watch, like the one that I've got here, and the aluminum Apple Watch Sport. We didn't, however, spring for the 18 karat gold, $10,000 plus Apple Watch edition. Today in our labs, we're gonna be testing for heart rate, step count, ease of use, water resistance, and scratch test, which is happening right behind me now. For our scratch test, we put the watches under our abrasion tester, and we use picks that are calibrated to the Mohs hardness scale, a scientific standard. The harder the pick, the more likely it is to scratch the surface. We start scratching with a pick that's almost as hard as a pen knife. Then we go to the next hardest pick in the scale. And we keep doing that until we can see and feel damage. The Apple Watch Sport, made with Ion X glass, didn't scratch when we used picks that were about as hard as a pen knife and a steel nail. But it did scratch when we used the pick that's about as hard as a masonry drill bit. The stainless steel Apple Watch, made with sapphire crystal, didn't even scratch when we used the hardest pick we have which rates a number nine on the Mohs scale, just under diamond. Apple isn't really advertising how deep you can go in the water with your Apple Watch, but in a website footnote, Apple says that the watch has a water resistance rating of IPX7 under IEC standard 60529. Huh? Here at Consumer Reports, we know that means that it can withstand being submerged in three feet of water for 30 minutes. So we put two watches, one sport and one non-sport model, to the test. Our tank was pressurized to simulate three feet of water. And after 30 minutes underwater, both were still fully functional. But we'll continue to monitor them for any abnormalities. For our heart rate test, we pitted the Apple Watch against our highest rated heart rate monitor here at Consumer Reports. Wearing both, our testers hit the treadmill, first walking slowly, then a little faster, then a jog, then back to a walk. All the while, they periodically reported the heart rate reading on the Apple Watch. We found the watch to be accurate, there were no significant differences between its readings and that of the reference monitor. These are our initial findings on day one of our Apple Watch ownership. Other tests we perform take more time. For our step test, for instance, we mapped a route around our atrium that our testers are following wearing the Apple Watch and carrying a counter. Those results are now getting statistically analyzed. Meantime, we'll also finish our usability testing. That includes how easy it is to pair the watch with your phone, how well you can read the display in bright light and low light, and how easy it is to use different functions like the clock, the alarm, email messaging, and notifications. We'll be back to you with the rest of our scientific results in short order, and we'll tell you how the Apple Watch stacks up against other smartwatches in our new ratings category.